this was just another little quip script I made. It's the Smart 404 um, PHP script. And I made that to work in conjunction with my website, dot, uh, my sitemap.php script, which you'll find in my other videos uh, in the coding, coding corner. Um, primarily, I've written all this stuff to use with Muse um, to enhance my Muse experience, uh, the Adobe Muse software package. Uh, however, you can use this with uh, uh, any, you can use this regardless if you use Muse or not. Um, so you'll see uh, sitemap PHP. Um, it's just a script I use that would uh, spider my site and create a sitemap XML file for my site. Um, if you already have a sitemap, it doesn't, you know, if you already know have a sitemap generator or whatever, you don't need to worry about that. Um, I've designed that one specifically for uh, spidering with Muse because Muse creates a very limited sitemap of just the pages you've created in Muse. And if you're using my YouTube playlist uh, PHP script with Muse, um, you end up having a lot more pages that would never get into the sitemap um, because Muse doesn't know they're there. So I run my sitemap PHP to generate that, and I just have it run on a cron on a regular basis. So if I upload, uh, post something from Muse to my site, then in the next day my sitemap will be updated to get new, new information. So what I've done here, this is uh, Smart 404 PHP. It just uses your sitemap XML file that's uh, on your server uh, that you've created. And again, like I said, you can use my script to create your sitemaps if you haven't created one. Um, so we say the directory, the path of where the sitemap is. We say our default URL, which would be you know obvious if if your whatever your domain, you know whatever your default base URL is and your default extension if you uh, would Muse, all your pages are going to be .html um, so therefore I set my default extension HTML. If you, you're using this for something other than using all your scripts or your sites written in PHP or whatever and most of your extensions end in PHP you should change that to PHP just so it can fill in the blanks if somebody goes to a URL without an extension. Um, so anyway it's pretty straightforward simple script. Uh, you add to your HT Access file the uh, error document setting so that it knows I have I keep mine in a Smart 404 script. If you watch my other coding cor coding corner videos, you uh, will see how to do uh, 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 the basics of uploading. I assume that you have some basic server knowledge of how to use FTP, how to upload a file. You can put the Smart 404 script anywhere on your server, uh, um, as far as that's concerned. Uh, just upload it. And uh, then you, whatever that path may be, you have to set it here to access the script. So when anytime you go to an invalid page on your web server, it's going to redirect to the 404 script. So pretty simple. It just looks at the URL you typed in. It breaks it down uh, by word, and then it scans the uh, sitemap XML and it tries to find the closest match. So if you had a URL, for example, that said uh, originally well I'll just give you a show of what it does and uh, you can see for example we originally uh, and this is an example of the HT access file uh, this is all for my PHP stuff so news can just probably publish like normal and support PHP uh, again look at my other videos in the coding corner for that um, uh, you'll find a URL to it at the bottom in the description um, uh, but this is the line in the HT access file sorry I'm I'm on a road trip at the moment just trying to be quick uh, but I'll just show you how this works. So say I'm in Facebook uh, and I posted a bunch of videos and then later on down the road, guess what? I changed the page name and they're no longer at that page. So for example, we're going to go down to here. Okay, so, so we'll go down to a video, for example, right here. Uh, let's say this one. Um, if you look at the status bar there, um, I'll just copy the link. So she had actually originally before we had my uh, YouTube playlist script written. She was actually making separate pages for each of my videos. Uh, so we had the Leonard Nimoy tribute page, for example, and that was the URL for it. Well, guess what? That page doesn't exist anymore. So what does it do? Let's see. It scans the sitemap, and wham, it still found the right page. So how does it work? Pretty simple. Um, if I typed in any invalid URL, so, for example, say the URL was cooking. Um, 
cooking pork. <laughs> and we moved it to a totally different page. It's going to find the closest page that has cooking and pork, the closest match. So there it is, Tuscan pork linguine. Uh, it doesn't matter what you type in here. Um, it's going to find the closest match. Whatever URL is the closest match, it'll find it. Now, it's not perfect, but the idea is, especially if you're working with news and you've changed your page name or whatever, if, if it has something similar like uh, my original page for coding uh, was writing code, uh, the original page was software code development or something. I don't remember what she picked. Um, so, but if you had the name code, it, it, you know, code, Okay, so for example, that page doesn't li uh, exist. Um, actually, it was never HT. It was it. That page doesn't exist. Uh, it's gone. So let's see what it finds. Oh, it found Coding Corner. So, like I say, it found a relevant page. So um, that's what the Smart 404 does, and pretty simple. And there you go. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you. Uh, again, check out Coding Corner uh, on my site, and uh, you'll find uh, several scripts and several s tutorials on how to install them, um, and uh, have fun. Thank you.